Choosing a, a distributor is actually quite a, an important thing for any company who wants to get their components on time, in budget, uh, and know that they, they've got a, a really good um, uh, distributor in place. So what should people think about when they select a, a distributor? Uh, a lot of different things actually, Ian. I mean, uh, it, it depends what people are trying to achieve and where they are in the uh, supply chain or the design chain. Uh, a lot of people, uh, if you're in the supply chain, of course, you're going to be looking more at some of the uh, uh, the larger distributors who are really good at bringing in the manufacturer's products uh, on time, every time to meet the supply needs. Um, you know, the arrows, the avnets, but uh, it, then on the other side, you have the design engineers who are really looking to do something different and have ones and twos and tens and fifties in a bag very quickly. And uh, that's typically where people will look more like a Mauser. So uh, it really depends what people are trying to achieve, whether they're looking for volume components or small quantity components, uh, or if someone's a student or uh, uh, some kind of engineer, they're more likely to look at uh, different types of companies than they would uh, if they're a volume producer.